when I found this option, I was pretty, pretty excited because it means I can start using voice changer to disguise my voice a little bit and just have some fun with a few people. As you can see, it says, when an app starts using the microphone, you will get a notification through which you can use voice changer in real time. Let's just try this sound to hear what it sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. Let's increase the volume. Alright, so you, you've heard you've heard that, right? So yeah, it is fun and once you've toggled this on, you can then use it in other apps. So let's try voice recorder. So once you start recording, you will get the option automatically um, right there. So once you tap on it, you can choose what option you would like. I would go for a baby. So from the moment you choose baby, whatever you say is then recorded in that baby voice. And for us to try something else, I could change that and tap on let's go ethereal and it's then recorded in ethereal if that's the way it is pronounced. So let's listen to what it sounds like. Start recording, you will get the option automatically. Baby voice. And for us to try something else, I could change that and tap on let's go ethereal and it's then recorded in ethereal. So there you have it. It is fun to use and the way to get this on your device or the way to activate this feature would be to go into your Galaxy Store, good luck, go to your family section and there you can see sound assistant and then toggle on voice changer. So you don't actually have to be worried about it changing your voice automatically because it doesn't do it unless you go unless you get a notification and you go into the notification to get it changed. One of the reasons I love using the S22 Ultra, the S22 series, is its deep level of customization which affords me. However, one of the few levels of customization I like is the ability to multitask or open open multi windows. When using multi window in, on the Samsung device after the One UI 4.0 update. The moment you try to resize the window, the background gets blurred out and you can't really see what's going on. I think this has been a way of Samsung trying to make the animation smoother. But for me, this really isn't my style because I used it before it was this way when everything in the background was still transparent even while you were resizing the window. And for me, I always wanted to try and get that back. So if you wanted to get back to what it was before the One UI 4.0 update, what you could do is you could go into your Galaxy Store download good luck open it up download multi star and right here you see the remove blur effect on adjusting split view if you toggle that on and you go back to this multi window here when you try to extend it you can still see your background and you can st still see where you're adjusting it to and this is the way i like it and this is the way i would like it to remain if you were to be using uh, the free youtube the only way to actually get background play is to minimize the YouTube view and then do other things in the background. However, it comes with a catch. When you go into here and click on um, open in pop-up view and then I move it to the corner here so I don't have the full screen to do what I need to do. However, you could jump into other apps and do what you want. Uh, let's say type whatever I want to type here. However, the moment you press the home button, whatever you're doing stops. The app stops playing and it just pauses, which is quite annoying if what you wanted was a smooth background playback. So one of the ways to solve this would be to go into your Galaxy Store, download and install, good luck, Multistar as well, and then come down here and toggle on prevent pop-up view minimization. And if you wanted, you could turn on multi-focus so that apps that um, lose focus in the background no longer lose focus. Put it up in pop-up view, is playing home button see nothing happens it stays there so so I can put it to the corner and do what I need to do type whatever I need to type jump back out and the app still plays in the background so now I've got the background play without needing to get YouTube premium when playing a, when playing a game or carrying out a test 
and you want to pay close attention to, to the device, then GPU Watch will excite you. What it enables you to do is it enables you to view the refresh rate, the GPU load and a few other information on your device. And you don't actually have to download a third party app. All you have to do is jump into developer mode if you have it activated. And if you do not, go into your settings, scroll down to about phone, tap on it, come to software information and then tap on build number seven times. It says no need developer mode has already been enabled. And if you go back to your settings, at the bottom you will see developer options. Now, GPU Watch, um, is, you can actually search it from your developer options, so you need to find it yourself. So scroll down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, and you will be able to see it right here, GPU Watch. Tap on it, and you will see FPS, Surface, Load, and Context Driver. So I will turn this on. For me, I just need the FPS, so I'm going to delete this and delete this. And now anytime you open an app, it's right there. So it says my current average FPS is this, that will be 30. Mobile data always active is useful if you need to know, if you need to always have a good connection. So what it does is, it even when you connect it to your device, it keeps your um, mobile data uh, connected so when your Wi-Fi becomes spotty and you do need to switch to mobile data then the switch is very is very fast and the way to turn this on would be to go into settings then scroll down you should now have your developer options if you activated it from the last one you have it open then you need to go for there you go so mobile data always active and the moment you turn that on even while your Wi-Fi is connected your mobile data will be on standby and not disconnected when there is a uh, maybe a drop in your in your wi-fi speed connection your mobile data will be there too boost it right until your wi-fi comes back into good standing when you go into your developer options if you scroll down here you will see quick setting developer tiles and this gives you a few uh, developer options that you could then add to your quick setting tile at the top right here but the other one that was useful to me was the sensors off and windows animation scale if you really need that but sensor off one is a pretty useful one as it allows you to turn off all sensors on your device which includes camera the microphones and other sensors on your device not only will this feature improve the security on your device it can also help you save battery so if your phone is you know, um, pretty low your battery is pretty low and you need to conserve as much battery as possible then you can just come here and toggle on your all sensors to be turned off the only time the device will then use the microphone is if a call comes in which makes sense as you want to be able to pick and receive a call so if you don't pick the call then the microphone doesn't activate if you then pick the call then the microphone activates apart from that all sensors are shut off video call effect allows you to take one setting and apply it to all the video calling apps out there like zoom team viewer and whatsapp so when you're in an app that uses the video calling feature you get this camera icon here and once you click on this camera icon i'm just going to reset it for you once you click on this camera icon you can then click on background and add a blur and it automatic automatically blows your background next thing you can do is add a little bit of color to it see there are different colors there to choose from or you could add an image these are the two preset images which i have already chosen if you wanted to add more images you could click on that settings icon there and then click on here to choose more images from your gallery uh, you could also pick and choose whichever colors you want on here and these are the apps which is going to affect so if we were to go back into duo um, you can click on mic mode which is pretty interesting in mic mode you get a standard mode you get the voice focus mode which allows the camera the microphone to focus directly on your voice and without the other sounds or you could click on the all sound which allows everything to go through i am going to use standard because that's what i've been using for quite some time now and this is a very useful feature to have it does come automatically turned on on your device and if you were to use it then you're able to experience um, what is it has to offer however if you want to turn it off what you need to do will be to go into your settings scroll down advanced features click on advanced features and scroll down here video call effects so I've now turned video call effects off. Then I can go back here, 
and that option no more occurs. Samsung has been adding a few features to its gallery and video collages and video highlights are part of these customizations. To create a video collage, jump into your gallery and go to videos for ease. Click the icon at the top right, click create and then click on collage. You can now pick up to 4 videos of your choice. Once the videos are chosen, click on collage which then takes you to the next step where you are able to adjust the window sizes uh, where you want the windows to be. Once you're all good, once it's all sorted, click on done, save it and enjoy. The other feature in your gallery is known as the highlight reel, which takes a combination of up to about 60 pictures and videos together to create something interesting. To, to do this, you will also need to go into your gallery, go to videos if you want to use only videos, click on highlight reel and choose your videos. Once done, you can now enjoy what the AI has put together. And if what the AI has done, if you find an image or video in there that you don't like, you get the option to edit the pictures, to remove them or to add a new music. It does have a lot more customization than meets the eye. So do give it a try. That has been it. I hope you guys have loved the content. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn on notifications and I will catch you in the next one.